Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can charge your dead car battery using an old computer PCU. So before we start, let me just show you the voltage reading of my car battery. There are other methods and other equipments that can be used to charge a, a car battery, but this one would be the simplest and would require least number of accessories. First of all, once you get hold of your computer PCU, you need to cut off the heads of all these wires and then to start the PCU without the motherboard you need to find this green wire I believe the color code that you use on the wires is universal so you will have a green wire that you need to attach to any of the black wires you just simply need to ground the green wire that way if you supply the current to the computer PCU it would start automatically as you know there are number of wires on a computer PCU so what we are interested in is a ground wire the minus 12, the plus 12 and a plus 3.3 volts wire the reason we are using minus 12 and plus 3.3 volt line is because we do not have a 15 volt line directly on a computer PCU so if I use the minus 12 volt as a ground and plus 3.3 as a positive terminal the total potential difference I get is around 15 volts but still I cannot use the 15 volt supply directly to start charging my car battery because the potential difference across the terminal of the battery is very less even if you do not have a multimeter or a voltmeter to check the potential difference or the voltage across the battery terminals I would suggest that you start charging your car battery using a 12 volt line for initial 10 to 15 minutes and then you can switch over to a 15 volt line and I'll show you the current patterns that the battery would follow so that you do not have to check anything you can simply connect the wires and charge your battery. I will be simply taping the wires onto the terminals but I would not really suggest that because if there is a small amount of gap between the wire and the terminal things may go wrong now as you can see I have connected my battery to a 12 volt line but there is still some current flowing through the circuit that is because the initial voltage of the battery itself was well below 12 volts and here you see the voltage across the terminals while I am charging the battery using a 12 volt line Now after about 10 minutes you can see the voltage across the terminals have increased a bit and the current has come down. This means that battery got charged a bit and the potential difference now has come up to about 11 volts. And now we can switch to the 15 volt line and we will also see the current flowing through the circuit. The current through the circuit as you see here is around 400 milliamps so this will take a long time to charge the battery but it will be very safe so we will have to leave the charging on for like 8 to 10 hours. And when I start charging the battery the potential difference across the circuit is around 11.7 volts. And now we will leave this circuit as it is for the next 8 hours. And now after 8 hours as you can see the circuit voltage has come up to around 12.2 volts. And the circuit current has also decreased by about 50 milliamps. A simple calculation would tell you that the battery has stored around 3 ampere hours during that 8 hours of charge. after 8 hours of charge that's the final voltage of the battery i hope you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel for more such videos